Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how to measure acceleration. So let's get started. Now, just like we did for measuring average speed and instantaneous speed, I'm going to take you through the steps of a scientific report that you could write if you were carrying out an experiment to measure the acceleration of an object. So if you start off with the aim, it says to determine the acceleration of a moving trolley, i.e. the trolley being the car that you would use in the physics classroom. For the methods, you would collect a trolley with double mask, ramp, pile of books, light gate, clamp stand, computer or timer and a ruler and you would set up the equipment as shown here. So you'll see this is almost the exact same setup that you would use to measure instantaneous speed. However, there's one main difference and this difference is the mask that we're using on the trolley. So you'll see this time, instead of just a single card or mask, we're using a double mask, which means it's got two parts separated by a gap that is going to cut through the light gate and we'll talk about how this is going to work. We've then got a single light gate connected to a TSA timer, a ramp propped up by a pile of books, and then you would also have a ruler. So what would you do with this equipment? Well, it says firstly measure the lengths of the two masks, i.e. cards using a ruler, and input these to the computer or TSA timer. So you would measure these two parts of the mask using a ruler, and they should be the same length or width. And then it says that the computer or timer measures the time taken between the first mask intercepting the light gate and the second mask intercepting the light gate. The initial and final velocities of the trolley can be calculated from these measurements. So if we look back at the picture, how does that actually work? Well, what the timer is actually going to do is it's going to measure three times. One of the times will be the time taken for the front of the whole mask to cut the light gate until the back of the whole mask cuts the light gate. And that will give you your time t, which you use in the acceleration equation here. So that gives you this t value here. However, in order to calculate the initial velocity u and final velocity v to put into this acceleration equation, the timer must also measure two other times. So the first time will be used to find the initial velocity u, and that is by doing a speed distance time equation. So by knowing the length of the first mask and dividing this by the time taken for the front of this mask to this part here of the mask to pass through the light gate, that is going to give you the initial velocity u. And then the final velocity v again will be found from a speed distance time calculation. So you could do v is equal to the length of the second mask or card divided by the time taken for that mask to cut the light gate. And so from the TSA timer, you should now have the values to plug into this equation to calculate the acceleration. A equals V minus U over T. Now I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualize this setup. So if you ignore most of this page, we're just interested in this picture down the bottom, which shows a single light gate connected to a TSA timer. We've then got a double mask on a trolley, which is on a ramp, which is propped up by some books, just like the setup in the notes that we just looked at. And the TSA timer could actually be set up to simply measure the acceleration without having to think about times and initial and final velocities. So if you were to release the trolley here, you'll see that we get a value on the screen. So in this specific example, we've got an acceleration which has been output by the TSA timer of 1.74 meters per second squared. So that means the velocity of the trolley is increasing by 1.74 meters per second every second. Going back to the notes now, you'll see we have some sample results from when I did this in the physics classroom. So let's say our length of the first card was 3 centimetres, which is the same as 0 0.03 metres. And we said that's usually going to be the same as the length of the second card as well. They're going to be identical widths. So the length of the second card is again 0 0.03 metres. And the TSA timer in this case gave us an initial velocity u of 1.04 meters per second and a final velocity v of 1.12 meters per second. And the total time for the whole mass to cut through the light gate was 0 0.0651 seconds. So we could then sub this into our acceleration equation a equals v minus u over t, which gives us 1.12 minus 1.04 divided by 0 0.0651. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 1.23 meters per second squared. So to conclude, we can answer the aim by saying that the acceleration of the moving trolley in this example was found to be 1.23 meters per second squared. So remember that means that the velocity of the object increased by 1.23 meters per second every second because we've got a positive value of acceleration. And lastly, it's worth noting you could carry out this experiment in a slightly different way. So it says that acceleration can also be measured using a trolley with a single mask, i.e. card, and two light gates instead. So rather than just one light gate and a double mask, you could use two light gates and a single mask. And just to show you what that would look like, here's a quick simulation. So here we have the alternative setup where we've got two light gates and a single mask on the card. And you'll notice there are three timers here to measure three separate times. 
So if we look at timer AB, first of all, that's going to measure the time taken for the card to go from A to B by cutting through the light gate at each one. Whereas timer A is simply going to measure the time taken for the card to cut through light gate A, i.e. from the front to the back of the card. And timer B is going to measure the time taken for the card to cut through light gate B, again from the front to the back of the card. So if I click release trolley here, you'll see the timer's display values. So here we've got 0.01 .01 seconds for timer A, 0.006 seconds for timer B, and then 2.3 seconds, the longer time for the card to travel from A to B. So then using these times, we could calculate the initial velocity U using timer A, we could calculate final velocity V using timer B, and then we can use this time TAB as our total time in the equation A equals V minus U over T in order to calculate an acceleration value. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.